to add 50, the equivalent of 50 new coal fire power plants, you know, to our air right now. None of this makes sense. But what we are counting on is our resistance. You know, we invited you here, all of you, and we are so grateful we have co you, have, you have come because, you know, this is our responsibility as women. You know, I think about it, I'm a grandma. There's a lot of gray-haired ladies here too. How many are grannies out here? That's it, man. And you know when the grannies roll out, you're in trouble, right? That's right. You know, they say that women get more radical with age. I don't know. But I know I put up with a lot during my life, huh? And it looks like it's time for some changes, right? And some of us got to take responsibility because I got to say it don't look like big, good responsibility is being taken. You know, so it's time for women to stand up and say, not only do we not want another tar sands pipeline, because that's like, it's just kind of like building, it's like the equivalent of the wall. It's an infrastructure project that causes human rights violations that is not necessary, right? It's a bad investment in infrastructure. What we want is a just transition. What we want is water for people, not for oil companies, right? What we want is water for places like Flint, Michigan, or maybe Rice Lake. On my reservation, the water, you know, our tribal communities don't have adequate infrastructure. This, this, you know, the country now has a C minus in infrastructure. We used to have a D. We've moved up slightly. But let's make infrastructure for people. Let's pe put people to work doing good things. And let's just say here in the North Country, we don't want to be fighting over rocks and pipes for the rest of our lives, do we? Because that's exactly what we got looking if they got their same plan going. What we want is a just transition. We want to make stuff that matters in Minnesota. Yeah. Like we make solar thermal panels. My team is here. We make solar thermal panels on the White Earth Reservation. We got parts that come from like Germany. Why don't we make them in Duluth or Park Rapids? Right? You know, we sit here and we watch wind turbines and everything coming into the port of Duluth from Europe. Why don't we make that here? Let's make real jobs in northern Minnesota so that we aren't fighting over a right to destroy the planet. Nobody really wants that up here. What we want is good paying jobs, but what, and what we really want is to be able to drink our water, eat some local food, and have an energy system that don't look like crazy people run it. You know, I mean, look, look at Texas. Man, now's our time. Now's the time. Our prophecies talk about this time. Talk about it as the time of the seventh fire, the time when we have a choice between two paths. One is well-worn and scorched, and the other is green. I see that green path, and you all do too. And it's going to take the surge of our people, the surge of this movement, which is growing, which is growing. It's not only the arrests, but it's the presence. And, and you know, we all even got in a new president, didn't we? <laughs> you know, that was more votes than any president got in history, right? That's because of us. Indian people did a lot of organizing, the rest of us did too, because we want change. And so we are here because we are demanding the change and we're going to be part of it. We're saying, let's roll up our sleeves, Minnesota, and make a conflict-free future. You know, that's what I want. So I pass it to my sisters here, but we want, we want not only no line three, you know, but we want to protect our water. I'm kind of tired of off it too. I just got to mention that. <laughs> Those guys got to move on, the industrial potato guys. But the basic thing what we want is, uh, is you know, no, no more tar sands pipelines for sure and a just transition. So thanks again. You know, take your place in history, my people. Take your place in history because change is not made by, you know, fairies someplace else. It's made by people like us. Let's do it.